Hello all my nerd friends out there, this is Mr. Chewy here, and we finally get to talk about some Black Clover, baby. It's been a month break for them, and it w was worth a month break as well. Tabata gave us some greatness today in this chapter, Black Clover chapter 359. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about some Black Clover greatness. Whew. Way right out the start, right out the bat, we got Noel Nozelle's mother coming down in taking out Nozelle in a heartbeat. Starts, that's how it starts. Nozelle, mother, stabbed him right in the stomach. He's probably not dead, not yet, but damn. He's already down, man. These captains are literally falling down one by one. We got like really inventions down. Jack the Ripper down. Uh, who else is down? I think those are the two captains right now. I remember it's down. But definitely Jack the Ripper, he's dead. Um, and we all know he's going to come back. You never know in Black Clover. But it's, oh, and Miliosa, we only know she's going to be down. We only know what's happening over there, you know. If she survived, hopefully, oof, it's going to be sad if he, she bites the dust. I wonder what's going on there. But, damn, this is going to be a heartbroken moment right here in Black Clover. A heartbroken fight. Nozelle is down. And her, their siblings are begging to help Nozelle get up and fight, you know. And the mother is just saying, oh, this is what happened to my family. Basically kind of like taunting them. And saying, but I forgive you because I'm not here to raise you no more. And basically saying terrible things again as well. Like uh, kind of like Sister Lily did with Asta. It's like, damn, just heartbroken. More. And you know what's heartbroken? Because you know this is not really their mother. You know, her, her mother, this is their mother's body. But that's not the mother talking. She can't control the words that come out of her mouth. She's basically kind of like crying inside of her right now. Crying inside. It seemed that she would never hurt her kids. We we know who her mother, their mother's really like. Man, this is the mother that fought the devils, Veronica, protecting her daughter Noel and Nozelle from her, from Veronica. She's this is the woman that basically um, graced her kids after they defeated Veronica, Noel and Nozelle. When she hugged both of them, that was a great moment too. I loved, made me tear up because. Like, she was at peace and said, thank you. And that's their mother. And even Noel, when she came to the scene and realized that, yeah, you're not my mother. My mother would never, ever do this. And this was another great chapter. This, made, this chapter made me cry right here. Made me tear up. And I don't know what it did for you, man. I'm a little soft. But what I, the way that Noel is developing was amazing. I love what Tabata did with Noel's character development. Because you seen her in the beginning of Black Clover. Basically, couldn't control her magic. Her spell was like she wasn't accurate. She was a joke to her family. Her older brother treated like shit. Her other two siblings treated like shit. The only one that stood up for her, and that's why she loves him so much, was Asta. Asta stood by her side, and it was what very heartbroken right here made me tear up was because I when we see Noel heartbroken to see Asta. She thinks Asta's dead. She At that moment, she thought Asta was dead and she went to go cry alone on the beach and see her tears. And I, that shows how much she really, really cares and loves for Asta. You know, not just words. We all know she really likes Asta, but really cares and loves. Like, she was heartbroken. And she got the courage. She made a speech like, that I am going to fight for him. I'm going to fight for Asta to so make sure when he comes back, he knows he's alive. He, she knows, she feels that she, he's alive, uh, that when he comes back, that the kingdom is still here and standing. I'm here standing with them. And I can't wait. I can't wait to uh, Noel sees Asta again. That's going to be a beautiful moment. I have a feeling Noel is going to run up to Asta and kiss him because how much she loves him. And that was a beautiful moment. I really love that. Like, I love to see. I hope that really does happen. She runs up and kisses him. And, and Asta realizes how much Noel loves her uh, loves him, and that's that would be beautiful. I would love that because that's what I kind of wanted. And <laughs> we got in the movie of, of Naruto and Yata, but I kind of wanted that to happen a lot during the show, not all the way to the movie. Like during that pain arc, I'll be a lot more awesome, a lot of brace moments, or just a moment like that. That would be a great moment, but I, I can't wait for Noel to see Asta again. That would be awesome. Can't wait. Anyways, continue with the story that it will be awesome. And the way her character developed, she was even stronger. And she got even a power boost in this chapter. 
<sighs> what amazing design to buy the made of armor for Noel. Love it. I love it. And the way she got her powers, she met with uh, when she was at the sea, like I said, she was crying and trying to basically recuperate all what happened at the Clover Kingdom when Lucius did to Asta. Her friends from the Sea Kingdom came and trying to cheer her up and ask her for help because there was a, a, a spirit release, a big old dragon in the sea that they used to worship. It's on the loose. And I guess it's looking for a strong magic user to make a contract with. It's another spirit that could make a contract with, like, you know, in Pixie, like Tinkerbell. I think that's what they call her, Tinkerbell. Uh, that little fairy, like you, uh, Asa's de uh, devil. Same thing with him, contract. Now, she made a contract with a, La a big old sea dragon called Laveria. I like that name. I like that. And she, her new outfit, Valkyrie Black Dragon, I think it's called Black Dragon or Dragon, Valkyrie Dragon or something like that, look amazing. Ooh, I love Asta. I mean, I love Yunos. Well, not Yunos. I'm all over the place. Uh, well, I love all their designs. Asta's armor design, you know the armor design, now Noel's new armor design. They all got the power of upgrade. The big three. Literally, you could call them the big three in this story. Because you were seeing the development, their power boost, and all these three main characters. And I love it. That's going to be awesome. And she has to fight her mother wearing this outfit. And that's what's going to suck. Because, you know, any, how this fight ends, it's going to be sad. It's going to be heartbreaking. That's why I love it. Like, it's just... Because if it's going to happen, Noelle's going to probably put down her mother. And that's going to be heartbreaking. You have to put down your mother. And I have a feeling Noelle's mother is going to let her. Not let her physically, but I think there's going to be a moment. A moment that Noelle's mother is going to break the spell of Lucius. Kind of like a Sister Lily did. If you remember that fight between Sister Lily and Asta, she had a moment. Like, she said sorry to Asta uh, right before Asta strike, uh, st st stroke her. Um, stroke him. She said, I'm sorry, I don't want to kill. Her. I'm sorry for saying all this terrible thing. Basie opened up, saying all I, said, I don't mean to say this. Like, she broke the spell for a split second, and Asta was able to unbreak the spell for that split second and save Sister Lily. Now she's in a coma. I think the same thing's gonna happen to Noelle's mother. Definitely, something's gonna happen tragically that's gonna break that spell. Like, I think Noelle. Is gonna maybe get hurt again, maybe get killed, maybe try and sacrifice himself to save Noel and stop his mother from killing her. And just that's gonna break her. Like she killed one of her kids. Like maybe it hasn't happened yet because she knows she, she haven't done a fatal wound to Noel yet. But I think that's gonna cause and cause the break. And Noel's gonna have that split second and put her down. And that's gonna hurt her really bad. Like, dude, I just put down my mother and somehow. Noelle's mother's got comforts, you know, thank you for releasing me. I was getting tortured in my own body because I was trying to stop myself from hurting my own kids. Like, she's going to say our farewell. Maybe Noelle will live, but to all her kids, saying I'm so proud of y'all. Please love each other. Take care of the family and everything. And she's going to have a farewell goodbye. And just it's going to be a beautiful moment. It's a sad moment as well. I'm going to be tearing up. I know when that happens, when the end of this fight, I just see it. Uh, that's my prediction. I don't know what's going to happen for 100%. I just know. Where would, however this fight is going to end between the well and her mother, it's going to be a sad, sad ending. And this, that's 100%. I'm putting my money on that. It's going to be a sad ending. But Tabata is writing some good stuff. This war, when it started, it's escalating big. Big, 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 big. So you, you know, I, there's not going to be no second story. There's no Black Clover Plus, Black Clover Z, no all this stuff. This is it. This is the last story. I can't wait to this get animated oh my god it's gonna be amazing when it gets animated Whew. love it love it this is gonna be an amazing arc i know it is i can't wait for more can't wait for more black clover's back tabata came back tenfold amazing but comment below give me your guys thoughts what you guys think about the back the comeback story of black clover it's back now what do you think about chapter 359 did you like what's gonna happen between noel and his her mother to fight how you like noel's new power upgrade how how you think all this could escalate and uh did you feel anything did you cry just like me <laughs> when you heard uh noelle's story how she felt about asta how, how she was heartbroken that see asta maybe died and 
um did you love all the developed character character developed on noel as well just as much as i did comment below give me you guys thoughts on everything i like to hear it and read it thank you again for watching love talking manga with you guys you guys are awesome thank you for your support thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for sharing with all your friends uh thank you for commenting as well i love talking nerd stuff you are that's why i mainly create this stuff this video is his channel because i love talking about this stuff we love to read and watch all this anime all this manga comic books toys everything that we love to enjoy i love talking about with you guys how i feel and what i experience as well and i like to know what you guys experience as well but thank you all again for watching i hope you all have a good day and a good night and remember stay nerdy forever bye